hardcore iron man let's go so i recently got myself this beautiful dragon hunter lance and i brought it here to vorkath to use it and it was a little successful i'd say we uh we had a good time here getting to 100 kill count, but I really want to get a second Vorkath head to put on my max cape so that I get the ammo preserving effect. And I also want to get to the front page of the Hardcore Iron Man Vorkath high scores, which means I'm going to have to get to about 450 kill count here at this boss, which is terrifying, but also sounds like a ton of fun. So I'm going to be working towards that. Let's get started. Okay, first kill. First kill, we got the Vorkath head. All right, we're done. Well, GG's. That was easy. All right, time to throw this head onto my max cape. Yep, infuse it into the max cape. And now our max cape will not have ammo dropping on the ground, which is so nice because I pretty much wear this everywhere instead of my Ava cape just for convenient teleports and for that ring of life effect just in case I mess up really bad. Uh, What is this task for? Dodging the dragon. I'm actually not sure what that is. That might be five perfect kills in a row. Yep, five kills in a row without taking any damage from a special attack. So it's five perfect Vorkath kills in a row. Pretty cool that I just got that on accident while uh, killing the dragon. Also, a five kill trip with this gear is absolutely nuts. That was beautiful. Wait, is that a is that a dragon spear? I haven't seen one of those in so long. Oh my gosh, what is the rarity of that? That's awesome. All right, dragon spear at 162 Vorkath kills. Finally, the item we've been grinding for. <gasps> Wait, are are you serious right now? Stop. Stop it. That's not funny, dude. <laughs> okay. All right. We have the Vorkath pet now on the hardcore. I don't I don't even know what to say. Honestly, I I actually have no words. 188 kill count. So we've gotten the skeletal visage and we've gotten the pet. This is stupid. This is just stupid. Oh, well, that's what the hardcore Iron Man's all about. We also got a rune spear that kill, which is, uh, you know, someone could calculate the odds and say it's one in a billion or something stupid like that. But now let's talk to Vorky. Hey, Vorky, got any interesting dragon facts? Well, very close. To Dude, I'm happy for you or sad or whatever. Sorry that happened, but I'm not reading all that, bro. But real quick, let's talk about 1v1.lol, a quick paced and satisfying battle royale experience that you can get for free on mobile and Steam. My favorite thing about this game has to be the way that the building and shooting elements work so seamlessly together. It's so satisfying to tactically block your opponent's attack and get to the high ground to take them out and win the game. On top of that, they've got a huge roster of champions all with their own unique abilities. Like Quick, who can dash to get around the map fast and surprise enemies with an ambush. Midas, who can place down a spectral warrior that automatically attacks nearby enemies. Or Shadow, who can go invisible and deals more damage when attacking from behind. There's also a brand new champion called Fang who besides just looking insanely cool also has a great ability and passive that allows him to heal himself by dealing damage to others. I really love that every champion has such a unique play style that lets you get a new experience every time you hop into a match. I also really like that you can upgrade your champions and weapons by playing the game and opening lol boxes. It just adds a great feeling of progression. I also need to mention that right now there are some massive youtubers with skins in the game right now. Until June 2nd you can get skins for laser beam, clicks, and slogo just by playing. If you manage to collect all the skins you'll have a chance to play with them live like i said this is only until june 2nd so make sure you hop on for this also from the 18th to the 26th there is a legend clash tournament where you can play with your favorite legend skin work your way to the top and win massive prizes the game is available for free on the mobile app store and steam just search for 1v1.lol or click the link in my description thank you so much to 1v1.lol for sponsoring this video and helping keep the channel running well that's pet number eight on the hardcore we're getting close to having 10 pets and i really think that i should go ahead and build that pet thing in my poh now because it's just taking up a ton of bank space but let's throw vorky in here with our collection of pets so beautiful oh my god that's so stupid why why did that just happen well i think i'm done with vorkath for now i just don't think we can top that anytime soon but i will return there and we'll do more to go for front page and also maybe just go for the green log oh look the collection logs empty i love this glitch i still don't know why it happens go for the green log eventually probably i mean we only need the jar and the necklace which is just stupid i hate that in 188 kills i'm closer to green logging this than i am on my main with like 2500 but we don't need to talk about it because varlamore just came out and i'm super excited to try it out specifically the moons of peril as there are three new armor and weapon sets and this one right here specifically the blood moon armor set actually seems pretty good i think for me this is going to be my best in slot crush weapon at least for a long time so i think we should head out here and try to finish this set that would be super fun so i, I gotta do quests though there's a lot of new quests 
Children of the Sun completed. I really want to know why the icon here for finishing this quest is a cooked chicken, but you know, I'm not going to question it. We can go to Varlamor. I'm so excited. There are so many cool things in Varlamor, especially for this account specifically. So let's head over there. There's like actually three or four more quests to do in Varlamor. So we're going to be questing for a couple hours, I think. Yay, another quest done, Twilight's Promise, which gives us 3,000 thieving XP, which is just insane. And we can now use the teleport to Civitas Ila Fortis, which is, you know, just Varlamar, the center of Varlamar, which is very nice. And uh, now we just got one more quest to do before we can do the Moons of Peril, which is the edgiest name ever, and I love it. And there's the quest completed, 40,000 Slayer XP. Wow, y'all gotta get on this quest. That is some amazing XP for the reward there. And since you actually do kill all of the bosses during the quest, I believe we can go open the chest and get some loot here we go our first chest will we get a unique first chest no but we do get a collection log slot these are actually guaranteed the at little darts here you get them every single chest so uh yeah no reason to freak out about that but the regular supplies from this are actually so good for mid-game iron men they're actually pretty decent even for me there's some grimy herb swamp tar and then these sun-kissed bones and wormling bones which are pretty decent prayer xp actually and you can bank it straight from the chest so you don't actually have to uh you know run back and forth to the bank at any point you can stay here as long as you want self-sufficiently which is really cool oh what what no way second chest we actually just got a double chest uh okay all right i'll take it <laughs> what the hell okay we got the eclipse moon chest plate and the dual maku hedal i'm pronouncing that wrong i'm 100 percent sure i'm pronouncing that wrong all right let's send those to the bank and uh, that's actually from two different sets as you can see down here from the moons of peril log here uh one of them is for the ranged weapon and we got the melee weapon actually which is awesome the melee weapon sets the one i want the most and the ranged one is my close second uh best that i want to test out really badly so yay one out of four on both oh my god i cannot believe we just got a double chest dude what oh there it is this is exactly what i I've been waiting for look at that 69 water orbs that's insane the loot from this is so ridiculous i'm so excited to actually grind this out for full sets look at that 70 water orbs basically that's ridiculous i have so many battle staffs in my bank like an exorbitant amount i think like seven or eight thousand or something and finally i will actually be able to use them this is great this phase that's coming up on this boss you will always hit like every two ticks or something and you do a lot of damage during this phase so i had the bright idea to bring my full darox set here and i've just been absolutely slapping him with it you can look at these attacks 57 31 it just absolutely shreds him and there is a chance if you hit high enough i noticed that you can actually skip the rest of this phase normally he only gets down to one hp and then uh you know you have to sit here and dodge these attacks for the rest of the time but look i just hit him for what a 50 or something like that and we skipped the phase and there's 20 kill count we haven't gotten anything since two kill count where we got the stinking double chest which is ridiculous but i'm pretty sure the rate of getting anything is a solid one in 20 so we're smack dab on the drop rate if you ignore the second item that we got in the first chest so looking good and i'm pretty sure this place has a unique mechanic where you don't get dupes like i think you will complete the full set before you start getting duplicate items like oh there we go our second piece the eclipse Adolotl, I hope that's how you pronounce it again. I'm probably butchering this, but that is halfway to the Eclipse set. We got to find it again. Where is it? Moons of Peril. There we go. We got the weapon and the chest plate. Oh boy, I'm excited that we are halfway to a set. We're only at 36 chests as well, so I think this is pretty lucky. I'll take it. Almost missed it, but there's 50 lunar chest runs, and we're at three items still so far, so we're still lucky. I think, but uh, I'm getting a little bit burnt of this place after 50 runs, but I think I'm going to push through for a while, at least until I'm completely sick of it, and then we'll come back later, but hopefully we can get more of that Blood Rager set. I'm not even sure if you need the entire set to make the Makahedal better, but we'll see. So we just hit 60 kill count at the Lunar Chest, but also we just crossed over one thousand water orbs looted from here which is just absolutely amazing it's gonna be a ton of crafting xp and an insane amount of money from alking so yeah apparently about every 60 lunar chests you get a thousand water orbs so i think we'd have to do well, we'd have to do a lot more of these to actually use all the battle staves that I have. But hey, we're on our way. So I had to go to the bank and re-gear because I was reading about this boss fight. And there is some weird mechanics at play here. So your defense actually plays into how much damage you do to this boss. So the Dragonfire Shield is better than every kind of defender. This is actually the best in slot offhand for this boss. So uh, 
yeah, the fact that we have a DFS means we have a best in slot item. Also, for the, each boss, they have a specific weakness to a different style. So this first one that I do, the Blood Moon, it's weak to Slash, so the Abyssal Tentacle is perfect. The second boss, the Blue Moon, is weak to Crush, which means that these dual Makuhito that I have are actually my best in slot for that boss. And then the third and final boss, the Eclipse Moon, is weak to Stab, so I actually want to bring my Dragon Hunter Lance out. Oh my god, finally, 92 chests to get this stupid helmet i'm really glad they put in that mechanic where you don't get duplicates here because my god it has been forever since we've seen an item when was the last item at like 19 or something i've been here for like 70 chests with nothing this is exactly what i needed oh i was really starting to lose hope so we're three out of four pieces on the eclipse moon set i really wish we got some more of the blood moon set but that's okay we'll finish this and get to use it soon yes wait a minute wait oh my god i'm sorry about this sound if my mic is like flying all the way around is that the last piece of the eclipse outfit is that the full eclipse outfit finished at 99 kill count exactly that's awesome wait a minute uh, moons of peril yeah we did it we have the full eclipse outfit now i have no idea where this is good um, I've heard it's pretty good at places maybe like Zolra. I don't know if it's better than the blowpipe or anything, but it would be cool to try it out. You know what the actual best part of this place is? Is all these weird bones that spawn on the ground sometimes. I don't know what's up with it, but hey, four and a half prayer XP. No. No. No, we get a dupe, dude. Are you actually joking me? We've got like the first unique we get after the eclipse set completion is a dupe. That's so sad for so many reasons. Hi, future Shelby here. Back when I recorded this, I did not know how the drops worked at Moons of Peril. So once you get a full set, you do not need to kill that boss anymore. So basically me getting this dupe was just me being goofy. Oh yes, finally a new piece and it's of the Blood Moon set, the Blood Moon Helm. Yes, we're halfway done with the Blood Moon set. That's the one I really wanna get. And honestly, I'm not even gonna be that upset. We don't get any pieces of the uh, blue one because I've heard it's kind of garbage. Oh, baby. Yes, the Blood Moon chest plate. Let's bank that. Oh, my gosh. We are three out of four on the Blood Moon now. Oh my, look at how ridiculous this is. We've gotten the full Eclipse set plus an extra piece and three out of four on the Blood Moon. We haven't gotten a single roll on the Blue Moon table. That's so weird, but I'm not complaining. Would you look at that? Our first piece of the Blue Moon outfit, the Blue Moon moon chest plate at 188 yes i like to see uniques here all oh, the collection log slots are just rolling in this is quite a turn there's the blue moon spear i just want the stupid blood moon set done but now i'm I'm just gonna go out on a limb and guess that we're gonna finish the stupid blue one before we finish the red one now here we go chest number 200 i'm absolutely addicted to this stupid piece of content i was gonna take a break at 200 but we only need the one more piece to finish the blood moon set and uh yeah i'm hopelessly addicted all right there's no hope for me i'm gonna keep going i told you it was gonna happen we got the blue moon helm oh my god i swear to god oh my god the blue moon tassets of course of course, of course, of course. When you come to a place for one thing, you're going to get everything else before you finish that. Oh, our first item was the duel. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to mispronounce it again. But we just need the Blood Moon Tassets now. Good lord. All right. Well, just one more item to go. I mean, all we have to do is roll the Blood Moon table, and we're guaranteed it. 213 kill count. So, yeah, not bad. Let's keep going. We have to finish this. We got to green log this. So, I just remembered that we have this one duplicate item here, and you can trade them in to Ayat's Lally. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm probably mispronouncing it like these guys right here. But here we go. Congratulations on your reward. That is a treasure from ages past yeah about that i don't really like this one could i have a different one i love the dialogue here it's great all right so we have i believe a one in 60 chance to get another item by trading this in so let's see if we're lucky you certain you could end up with nothing yes very well no luck this time all right hate my life we did it we actually did it the blood moon tacit straight to the bank 227 chests to green the moons of peril oh it's so good. It's so beautiful. I'm so happy to be done here. Now we can actually try out the Blood Moon set and see if it's actually our new best in slot crush. And if it actually sucks, then I still have to do Sire, damn it. Jagex, you better made this set really, really good. Here is all of the loot from our journey to getting the entire Perilous Moons completed. Look at this. This is some pretty spicy stuff here. The 3,500 water orbs. 
is amazing. We've got 21,000 darts to use with our Eclipse at Lana, which I don't even know if it's good. I think the best things, though, out of all of this is the U Seeds, a thousand super compost. I can make an ultra compost and these bones, which I can break down into these bone shards and get some prayer XP. We'll be checking that out in a little bit. But for now, let's see how all of the full armor sets look. Oh, yeah. I look like a cheetah man. So cute. Well, woman, cheetah lady. Sorry. Let's put on the Eclipse set. Looks absolutely amazing. Except that little beak. What is that beak? That's dorky. I like it. And then the blue moon set. Ooh, looking so good. We look like we'd probably still be really cold in this, though. You got, like, the arms and belly exposed. Not good for the colder climates. But, yeah, I really want to try out this one specifically. The blood moon set it has a really cool set effect. And some pretty decent crush stats. Look at this. What's our crush bonus? 155. And our strength bonus is 132. This should be pretty good. So, I figure Nightmare is the perfect place to try out our new crush weapons and find out if they're good or if they suck. So, we're going to do a kill of the normal Nightmare. If this goes well, maybe we'll try it at Fosani's. Probably not, but you never know. Here we go. Say goodbye to the hardcore, everybody. Fast as fuck, boy. All right, there we go. Nightmare is dead. Let's see the kill time. I'm really curious to see it. All right, we got a 2056 with this set. That's actually not bad. Uh, yeah. Okay, I approve of this. The Blood Moon set and the Dual. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. Are pretty damn good. I think honestly, if I had brought the Imbued Heart, we might have even gotten a sub 20 there. But yeah, look at that. We got some. Uh, some combat achievements, sleep tight, nightmare adept, and nightmare solo speed trial less. Then I kind of want to try Fosani's. It's a really stupid idea for sure, but I kind of want to. All right, so with testing these here at Seracnus, it feels okay. Like, it doesn't feel like a big enough upgrade to even justify going for this, honestly, if you already have a Hosta or something like that. And apparently, I've been told that the broken zombie axe from the Defender of Varrock quest, well, just the zombie axe, sorry, it's broken when you get it. Uh, the zombie axe is actually just better. Like, I looked it up on the DPS calculator, and the Zombie X might just be a better weapon than these overall completely. So, I think I'm going to go for that soon, and then we'll try it out everywhere again. But it even looks like it's better at Nightmare, which I just, you know, wasted 20 minutes fighting with the stupid thing. So, <sighs> and I think I'm just going to store the Blue Moon set in this Master Stash unit here. I really don't think it has any use at all for anything. This set might. I'm going to try and look in to see if there's any uses. If you all know of any uses for any of these sets, let me know. But right now, I think they might just be a little collection in the bank, I suppose. So now I want to talk a little bit about the Prayer XP that we banked from Green Logging Moons of Peril. I want to see exactly how much we got. So we got 1,800 Wormling Bones, and we got almost 1,000 of these Sun Kiss Bones. Now, the Sun Kiss Bones, you could just use a chisel on and chisel them on down into these blessed bone shards which you can just convert straight into prayer xp and the wormling bones i'm going to do the same thing you can use them as normal bones but you cannot just straight chisel them right away you actually have to bless them first and we'll check out how to do that once i'm done with these sun-kissed bones so those are easy but like i said we have to bless these wormling bones first so what you do is you come up to the exposed altar and this should turn them into yep blessed baby worm bones where they're called baby worm instead of wormling now and then i can break these down with the chisel and now you're thinking wow now you have to go all the way back to the bank that's miserable no thankfully there's this convenient man right here virilis who will unnote bones for you so you can keep running back and forth and i'm just now realizing i should have brought a stamina potion this is going to take a little while <laughs> okay this is taking way longer than i thought it would to actually break down all of these wormling bones i don't think it's worth breaking these down should probably just use these on a normal altar so the benefit of blessing your bones and breaking them down is this is that you get a little bit more xp per bone than you normally would so with these if i use this on a gilded altar or at the chaos temple in the wildy which obviously i won't be doing that you'll get 73.5 xp which is not great it's not terrible i guess because you just get these passively but it's not great however if you bless them and break them down into bone shards they're worth 105 xp each which is you know 31 and a half xp more but is it really worth all of this pain and suffering to get 31 xp per bone it's kind of hurting my wrist so i think i'm just going to stop here and accept what i've got so far in the bone shard department and we're just going to go turn this into prayer xp so to do this method we also need blessed wine so here we go up to the exposed altar to bless our wine you can make an even better blessed wine if you combine a normal jug of wine with the sunfire shards you get from coliseum or hunting those sunlight antelopes but i think that's a waste of time it goes from 5 xp per bone shard to 6 xp per bone shard which yeah in this case if i did all of them like that it'd give me 82,000 extra xp but the amount of time it would take 
God, that just sounds miserable. So you bring all of this stuff here together to the libation bowl and you pour some wine in it and you start sacrificing 500 prayer XP drops every like, what is that, four ticks or something? And that is pretty nice. It's really good XP per hour. So if you AFK this, I think it's something like 600 or 700,000 XP per hour, but I've heard you can actually spam click it and get the XP drops every tick. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Oh shoot, one more thing I didn't realize. You actually need prayer points to do this. Luckily there is an altar right here. You have to run over here and restore it. I didn't realize it would use prayer points. Oh, that kind of makes this a little bit less fun. I'm not gonna lie. I wish it did not drain your prayer points to do this, but it's okay, I guess. Here we are with the last of our bone shards. Look at that, we got over 400,000 prayer XP from this. That's really cool actually. And it's almost 1.2 mil XP per hour. I did this pretty inefficiently as well. I could have done better and boom. 409,000 prayer XP. Now I also have about 40,000 XP in those wormling bones. It would be more if I used them on my altar, but I just feel like it's not worth it. I'm probably just going to use sinister offering on them while running agility or something like that. I feel like that's the best way to do it. Also, I don't even know if you can bank these blessed wines. No, you can't. Just going to have to drop these on the ground. Can't even drink the holy wine of my lord and savior Ralos. Yeah, it's not like the uh, perilous moons is a good way to get prayer XP, but the fact that it's all passive while just going for log slots or item upgrades is pretty cool. Also, a lot of other activities in Varlamore actually give you these uh, blessed shards that you can use to get prayer XP. And we have a quest done below Ice Mountain. This is going to be my new AFK activity for a little bit. There are 10 collection log items in the cam dozel section and pretty much all of them are quite afk to go for so might as well knock it out when i've got some chill time and let's get it started just for anyone who doesn't know this is what the cam dozel log looks like and almost every single thing in here is gotten from the mining activity over here you get all of these ancient pieces you get the hammer and you get one of the pieces of the baronite mace from it so literally seven out of the ten items are just for mining and smithing so that's what i'm gonna do first because that's most likely to get us some log slots. So once we mine a full inventory of these Baronite deposits, we bring them over to this anvil and we use a hammer to smash them. Look at that smithing XP, 30 each, absolutely insane. And every single one of these has a chance to have one of those seven collection log items inside. But most of the time, you're just gonna get Baronite shards, which you can use uh, with Romano here, or Romano to buy some permanent boosts inside of here, which we're gonna go for as soon as we can afford to. But yeah, it's gonna be a little depressing most of the time, you just get nothing. And you you can get dupes there is no dupe protection here so we could get like 50 of one item and zero of another oh there's our first log slot the baronite head which is the most common piece to get from here just some fun information about this activity by the way i'm getting about 10.7k xp per hour here it used to be 30 to 35,000 xp per hour i think when it was released but that kind of destroyed the free-to-play mining meta so they nerfed it into oblivion and fun fact it is better xp per hour to spam click this copper rock right here than it is to actually mine these baronite deposits at 99 mining. Wait, I just noticed we got a duplicate baronite head. Like I said, it is more common than the other pieces technically. But if you add up all the likelihood of getting any other piece, it's kind of silly. We got a dupe on our first one. So uh, that's how it goes sometimes. It's okay. My standing desk is going to a sitting desk. So I'm sorry if you can hear that. But look at this. A third Baronite head. I've seen nothing else but Baronite heads, dude. I am, I am absolutely rambunctiously heartbroken right now okay there we go the broken m kando hammer which didn't pop up a log slot you might notice and this is very weird you'd think this would be the collection log slot but actually the fixed hammer is the log slot and so to fix it you actually have to use this on romarno here and give him 1250 baronite shards but i have the exact amount of shards i need right now to buff my mining by permanent 10 percent so i'm going to save this and once we don't really need shards that much anymore then we'll hand it over and fix it up so this is like a this is like an up in the air it's a quantum log slot it is and it isn't so we got the 5% luck increase perk here, which lets us uh, basically have a better chance to get unique items. And it's been really paying off. Check out our log now, actually. It's been uh, filling in nicely. Wait, we actually got it. The ancient globe. I think that's the last thing we need from this uh, section of the cam does a lock. Yes, we actually got everything from here. Okay, wait, let me go get one of our broken maces out so we can repair it. Oh, I'm so happy. It's been so long since I've gotten a new item from here man i am delighted let's use this on romarno and also by the way this is the weirdest way you get a log slot in the entire game i found this broken hammer ah pay me money and i'll repair it so you repair it 
And then you get the collection log slot after repairing it. So weird. So the last things we need now are the handle and the guard. One of them you get from fishing, I think, the handle. And then the guard you get from fighting these golems over here. So I'm going to go AFK the fishing now. And there's the Baronite handle from fishing. Now we just got to go kill Chaos Golems for the last piece. And then we are done. Oh, finally we got the Baronite guard. I just picked it up without even starting the recording because this took me over 400 kills to get. My god. All right. And now for the final log slot. Also, yes, look how many Baronite heads we got. So stupid. Let's give these to Romarno. And he's like, oh, give me more Baronite shards and I'll make it into a weapon for you. And boom, the Baronite mace. Last log slot we needed. Cam Dozel is green logged. <laughs> look at the dupes from this grind. We only got, uh, what is that, three, four, five dupes of these things. But we got seven dupe Baronite heads and we got like three dupe hammers. So very happy to be done with this place. Just going to throw these all on the ground where they belong. I could alk them for 30k, but it's too much work. And here we are at my new favorite mining activity. That's right. You see that? You mine the Blessed Bone Shards. Now remember, these are only five prayer XP each. So it's not an insane amount of prayer XP. But the mining XP is actually decent. It's comparable to Motherload Mine. I think when I tested this before, I was getting about 50,000 XP per hour. Uh, while mining here, which is pretty darn nice. And then this adds up to like 14,000 prayer XP per hour. So it's not amazing. Obviously, other prayer methods are much better, like just doing Slayer or actively gathering Dragon Bones. But this is so AFK. I think these spots run out every 90 seconds or so. Sometimes they get these waterfalls. I can't tell if it makes it worse or not. I feel like talking to the guy over there, he said it makes it better, but I don't really know. Either way, it is super AFK, like a minute and a half of AFK, and then you click again, and the XP is pretty good. So I like this. I'll do this in my chill time, probably. Well, I've been AFKing here for quite a few days. The XP is super nice. It's super chill, and uh, lets me work on other stuff without having to pay too much attention here. So I think I'm going to do this and stack up as many blood bone shards as I can just to see how much XP we can get in like one day of prayer training or maybe I'll get burnt out on this and we'll never do that anyways I think I'm gonna end the video off here thank you so much for watching we're at 740 collection log slots the goal is still 1000 and in the next one I expect us to be getting a lot of collection log slots since I'll be doing a bingo with the clan and I'll be doing an insane amount of bossing so hope you guys are looking forward to that hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you next time goodbye